Hi, I'm our facts of Mars. And liberals get day off, no bashing liberals today. It's Christmas Day, even though I'm an agnostic. So what we're going to look at is the record of the Bethlehem Star in Matthew. I think Matthew is the only gospel that talks about this. I would have to check that, but Matthew has a good a description of this. Now, take a look at this. This is a map of the Middle East. The Magi, or wise men, said that they saw a star in the east, and they came to Jerusalem. Uh, which is here in Israel, very hot, dangerous place, obviously. So it said they went to Jerusalem, and according to the scriptures, they would be going to Bethlehem. Now, a lot of this dealt with prophecy, because prophecy said that uh, Jesus would be born in Bethlehem. I'd like to know where that prophecy is. But anyway, so you look at Israel. They're bordering the, uh, what is that, Red Sea? Mediterranean Sea. Okay, so you see Israel and Jordan, Lebanon. And over here to the east is Iran. Now, uh, Magi are Persians. So if these wise men were Magi, then they were from Persia, which is called Iran today. It was a much nicer place back then. So technically, they would have come from the east. I've run the numbers before, and might take a month and a half or something. It's a long, long journey if you're, uh, you know, a camel jockey. Obviously, the day we can fly in a couple hours or whatever. Anyway, so let's take a look at the scripture and see what it says about the Star of David, the uh, Star of Bethlehem. Was, you're going to find, out, find something really interesting. Now, note the position of Jerusalem. Bethlehem is about south of it. It's a Palestinian town now. I'm going to skip all the begats. Basically, God had told uh, Joseph, don't worry about, your, uh, about Mary being pregnant. It was all the Holy Ghost. Go ahead and marry her. Now, when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that's born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east. We are come to worship him. So apparently, frankly, I don't know how they could be magi, Because they were following Jewish religion, but anyway. When Herod was heard of these things, he was troubled, and all of Jerusalem with him. So how is it these magi saw the star and knew what meant, and nobody else seemed to have seen it? It was very strange. You have to remember the distance between Jerusalem and... Bethlehem is walking distance, about four miles or so, like a little over seven kilometers. I'm not going to do an exact conversion because it's not important. Maybe about five miles or so, five hours walking. Except you wouldn't want to do that today because you'd be riddled with bullets before you ever get there. But anyway. <sighs> And when he had gathered all chief priests and scribes and people together, he demanded of them where Christ should be born. 
And they said unto him in Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet. And say, which prophet? And thou, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, art not the least among the princes of Judah. For out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule over my rule my people Israel. Uh, Herod was pointed by uh, the Romans to rule that area. A puppet king, basically. And Herod, who, when he had privily called the wise men, inquired of them diligently what time star had appeared. And he said them, sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the young child, and when you have found him, bring me word again that I may come and worship him also. So these, these magi were basically doing the bidding of King Herod. You don't hear that from your average preacher. When he had heard the king, they departed, and lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them till it came and stood over where the young child was. A celestial object cannot do that. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceedingly great joy. And when they came were coming to the house, they saw the young child with Mary his mother, and fell down, and worshipped him. And when they opened their treasures, they presented them unto, unto him gifts, gold, franklin, sons, and more, myrrh. And being warned of God in a dream that it should not return to Herod, they departed into their own country another way. So they did come from another country. They didn't come from this one that they were talking about. And when they were departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared in Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise, arise and take the young child and his mother and flee into Egypt and be there until I bring the word for Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. It goes on and on. Now, his problem is, like I said, it's a very short distance between Jerusalem and Bethlehem. It's walking distance. It's less than a day's walk. It's, if I get up at 7 a.m. and I didn't have to dodge bullets, I could be from one to the other by noon, easily. Uh, it's not that big of a walk, this is the thing. Now, what you have to understand is that the further away an object is, the lesser the ang difference in angles were, would be. So if this was really a star, you couldn't tell the difference between where it was if you were in Jerusalem or Bethlehem because the angle would be just, there'd be so little difference in the angle that you wouldn't be able to notice. That's just the way it works. Sorry if that uh, upset some of you, but the point here is that this object they're following was apparently a low-flying object. And a star is kind of... If you call it a star, it's kind of subjective. Obviously, it's not like what our sun is, which is a star. So what could it have been? You want to say angels? Fine. That's your religious interpretation. Well, apparently they lost track of the star. Because, you know, it says when they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceedingly great joy. So this thing was following him around. And as I said, a celestial object can't do that. So what was it? Now, I've done this before on uh, 
Star Star Bethlehem, but I've never gone through the passage here before like this. The preacher man doesn't either. Because preacher man doesn't want to hear that the Magi were at least initially doing the bidding of King Herod. They don't want to hear that. And Herod did not like the idea of uh, having a child born that would uh, basically throw him out of office. Typical dictator. So what did happen here? Of course, the people will be wrangling him off for the next 2,000 years. I understand that. Whatever this thing was, it was obviously under intelligent control and wasn't a star. That's about the only conclusion I can come up with. You know, being who I am, you know what I'm thinking. That this was possibly some type of alien device. I wouldn't know what. Um, uh, this doesn't say Magi, by the way, so we don't know, I've heard they're Magi, which means they would have come from Persia, or modern day Iran. I can't tell from this passage how long they've been looking for this thing, for the Christ child, or when they saw the, um, dare I say it, the UFO? You really can't tell from this. But they have all these uh, astronomers saying, they're saying that the Star of Bethlehem was, you know, was a conjunction of planets, or maybe it was a comet, or... No. Because they cannot... You know, this thing was intelligent, obviously. It, you know, according to the Bible, it led them... It led the Magi directly to where Jesus was. We're not talking about, it didn't lead them to Bethlehem. They could have gotten to Bethlehem. They, were, they already knew that they needed to go to Bethlehem. They didn't know the street address. This thing led them directly to the street address. This is my point. So, no, it wasn't a star, it wasn't a planetary conjunction. It's easier to tell you what it wasn't than what it was. And being who I am, I'm always thinking UFO, that's just the way I am. Anyway, that's your uh, Christmas video from Artifacts of Mars. Take it or leave it, I don't care. In my book... And this was more than likely a UFO, and why it was leading the Magi there, I have no idea. I'll, uh, don't go uh, be I itching at uh, artifacts, because all I'm doing is reading what's here and looking at the map and getting an idea of what might have happened there. It's not the first one I've done either, like I said. And of course today, in the Middle East is a completely different place. Uh, you have Iran over there to the east. Used to be Persia, used to be a much better place than it is now. We have little Israel, and maybe about four miles between Jerusalem and uh, Bethlehem. So, this was not an astronomical event. That's my opinion. This thing was under power, and it was intelligently controlled, in my opinion. 
I'm not backing away from that statement unless somebody can prove to me I'm wrong. And I'm not talking about the latest uh, theory by astronomers either. That's not proof. I'm on the of Mars. Thanks for watching. Well, a lot longer than I wanted to. But I enjoyed this.